Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The theme of this particular video is teapots, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Of course, normally when we think in terms of teapots, we think in terms of something that's very functional, you know, making our tea. However, what we have here today are some ornamental teapots. They're not meant to make tea, but rather uh, we're using them primarily because of the shape and because of the form. And whenever I see any container, I'm thinking obviously in terms of using it for florals. Now these teapots can be used for a wide range of occasions and settings. We could use it for a shower. We could use it as an office gift. But we're thinking pr pretty much in terms of Mother's Day because Mother's Day is coming up soon. And these ornamental teapots are a collection of teapots that we got from one of our local wholesale house. These came from Jacobson Floral Supply. Um, they are made primarily as containers, not for actual use to make tea. And they come in different colors. You can see this cream colored one. There's also a pink one and a light green one here and there's also a lavender one as well and you'll be seeing some examples of it and what we're going to be showing you in this brief inspirational video are a variety of different designs that you can make using this particular base it is a really really neat container because you can do so many things with it now you can use these teapots to come up with all kinds of things and we're going to start very very modestly here is a typical little teapot design. It's quick, it's easy, and it uses everyday materials. And you know something? Sometimes the everyday materials are just perfect. A few carnations here, a few of our palms. Our daisy palms in both yellow and also in kind of a red violet. It's simple, it's easy. Something like this would make a lovely gift for someone. And it's the kind of design that if you had on a kitchenette, or a dinette uh, would be something very, very nice and easy to wake up to. Uh, it's pretty, it's simple, and it's a lovely design. But as I like to say in my classes, but wait, there's more. We're going to show you a lot of different uh, tea uh, pots decorated different ways, and we hope that by doing it this way, you'll get some inspiration and a few ideas that will inspire you to take teapots and to play with them and come up with some different designs yourself. Here's another one, also incorporating some fairly simple materials. In this particular one, we've got our carnations again here. We've got a few of our mini carnations worked in in some different colors, both in terms of our pink and white. We also have, again, some of our yellow palms and some of our red violet palms, the daisy variety. And we've got a couple of our liatris or blazing star worked in. Again, it's a very, very pretty design. It's a very, very simple design. And it's something that you can do very, very nicely for your enjoyment and also for the enjoyment of family and friends. Here's another example, because we're going to just show you all kinds of teapots using these amazing teapots from Jacobson Floral Supply. Now, this one's a little bit more elaborate. This particular base, if you look at it carefully, We've got our carnations again. We've got some mini carnations. We've got some daisy palms. But we also happen to have some alstroemeri in it. These are all very, very good keeping materials. Carnations, mini carnations, alstroemeri. You can't kill the darn things. And therefore, they really are a fun kind of material to make and use. And then you can keep them for a while. And they really are quite cheerful. Let's try another one and see what other options we have. In this particular case, We've got something a little bit more elaborate in terms of our materials here. If you look at this one, this has got some interesting combinations. We have here, in this particular one, we've got some of our Alstroemeria, which you saw in the last one. We also have a couple of roses. Oops, my, one of my flowers has moved on me. Let's just take that and poke it right back in. And we have some of our Alstroemeria. We've got a few of our roses. We've got some Matsumoto asters here. We have some of our spray roses. And we also have some lovely hyacinths that really smell absolutely magnificent. So you can see that we can go with everyday kind of materials in our teapots. Or we can mix a little bit more elaborate materials in our teapots as well. 
any combination really of materials work very, very well in this kind of container. It really is quite pretty. Also, a difference between this one and the last one is in our last uh, teapots, we were using some foliage to cover our mechanics. In this one, we have a little bit of our moss material covering our mechanics on this. These teapots can be made one-sided, in other words, facing towards us as you see here, or we could do them all the way around so that they could be viewed on either side. Whichever way you'd like to do it, it's still going to come out great. And this is the kind of design that you can go to a flower shop or you can go to a mass market environment, buy a cluster of all kinds of pretty flowers that come in a little uh, mixture of flowers, and then just take them and drop them in and come up with some really, really great results. It's quick, it's easy, it's fun. Here's another example, and let's show you another one. Again, we've got a few more uh, flowers. Notice in this particular case, this is a similar one, a little bit more upscale in terms of our materials. And we've got some very, very cool things in this one. We have, uh, in this particular design, again, we've got some roses. Roses, of course, are always popular. We've got some of our Matsumoto uh, asters. We've got some of our spray roses here. The, uh, the vine that we have here is kiwi vine. Kiwi vine is absolutely magnificent. If you want to come up with a kinky effect in a design, by all means feel free to use it. The little berries are hypericum berries. And then we also have some of our alstroemeria in here as well. So we've got a very pretty little design using uh, a few more elaborate things uh, in this particular case. Now what else do we have here? Oh, here's one that we want to show you. You're going to love this one. Now in this particular case, we have, I mentioned earlier that we do have some lavender uh, uh, teapots, and this is an example of one. And we've got a nice combination of different materials in this particular base. Uh, we have some of our liatris or blazing star coming around here. Working down into our design, we have a rose here. We also have rose over on this side. We have a carnation kind of tucked in to cover mechanics. And we have a couple of things worked through the middle of the design that are really, really cool. We've got some of our Alstroemeria. Alstroemeria are some of my favorite flowers. We love Alstroemeria in large part because they come in different colors, they look very natural, and they hold up very, very well. So we've got some Alstroemeria worked in here. Notice that we also have some Hydrangea in this design. We have the green Hydrangea. I love Hydrangea. It is definitely a very, very popular flower at the present time with the public. Everybody loves hydrangea. It makes a lovely gift. And I find that the green variety of hydrangea holds up very, very well. It's a good keeper and it gives good value and it adds prestige to our design. We have hypericum berries placed in here, hypericum here, and also a few hypericum over on this side as well. Uh, berries have become very, very popular in our floral art and therefore hypericum work very, very nicely in here. And then again, to add a little bit of contrast in terms of shape, we've got some of our kiwi vine worked in through the design. It gives kind of a wild side to it. It's a very, very pretty little arrangement. Notice that these are small designs. They're small, but they're mighty. They work very, very well. Now, you've been noticing that a lot of our teapots have been set up with the teapot here and the uh, end of it where yeah, the spout is, is over on this side. We can, of course, go in the other direction. We don't have to have all of our teapots facing towards the left. <clears throat> we can have teapots where they are facing towards the right. And notice in this particular case, we have just that. Again, a mixture of all kinds of things. Here is our spout. It's over on this side. In this particular case, we've got a very, very lovely teapot. It's got some of our green hydrangea in here absolutely gorgeous. We've got uh, some of our mini Gerbera, an absolutely wonderful flower. It comes in a wide range of different colors. We've got an amazing bicolor here with some uh, hot pink to red with little white tips of them. We've got some Alstroemeria in place here. We have some of our wax flower as a filler. It is really a very, very pretty little design with all kinds of things. And of course our roses, you never can go wrong with our roses a very, very lovely little pot of tea that is sure to make everybody happy when they receive something like this. What else do we have? Oh, here's another one. And again, let me remove this, my viewer, so you can see. 
This is another very, very pretty teapot decorated with our flowers. And you can see in this particular case, we've got the teapot. It's facing towards this side. Uh, this one is elevated a little bit more. We've got some of our Liatris or Blazing Star on the top. We are using a combination of our Alstroemeria placed here and also over here. Notice we've got a contrasting variety of Alstroemeria over here. So we're playing with two different colors of our Alstroemeria. A couple of roses here and here. One facing all over towards the other side of the design and a little bit of our hydrangea, green hydrangea, that is kind of poking through. A little bit of our uh, wax flower here and there, just to try to create a little bit of filler and contrast. It is an accent flower that is very, very pretty and very popular. And using a little bit of our moss to cover our mechanics. It is a very, very pretty, very pretty design indeed. Now, one of the things you've noticed that as we've been doing these designs, all of the designs that have been featured up to the present time essentially have our teapot. Uh, but the teapots do come in two pieces. We do have the teapot and we do have the lid. And there's no reason at all why we can't also incorporate the lid into our teapot designs. And in fact, when we look at our next offering, you're going to see just that. Isn't that cute? It is a cute little idea. Here we've got our teapot. We've got uh, an assembly of different flowers. We've got a few roses here. We've got some of our palms, some of our mini carnations. And then we've attached our teapot lid over on one side so that we can incorporate that as an element into our design. Why not? It gives a very, very cool effect. And it's interesting visually to become part of our overall arrangement. Here's another example doing the same thing, but you'll notice that in this particular case, rather than putting our teapot lid over on the right side, we brought it up a little bit higher. In other words, we can position these things differently depending upon how we want to. In this particular case, a very simple arrangement, making use of some lavender palms, a few Alstroemeria worked in, and a few of our yellow spray roses for contrast. Very simple to make. Very, very easy. Any of you out there looking at this could come up with something like that. And then we've taken our lid and worked it up here. So notice the lid is lower over to one side here. This one is a little bit higher and gives a really, really cool effect. There's one more teapot that I would like to share with you, my viewers, and I think you'll find kind of neat. And this one, again, we're integrating our lid into it. This one is a little bit bigger, a little bit more elaborate in terms of our placement on our materials. We have here a very, very pretty design. And in this particular case, we've got a combination of things here. We've got, um, um, if we back a little bit so you can see it just a little bit better, we've got a nice combination of things in this particular piece. It's really, really sharp. We've got, of course, our Larkspur that's giving a very, very pretty effect. It comes over here, 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 shoots over there. And then we've got a combination of different things in this design. Let me just finish this off just quickly by adding something to it. We've got a nice combination of things in this design. We have some of our lilies. We haven't used lilies in any of these, but we thought it would be kind of fun to work a few in. We also have a hydrangea worked over here, which gives a very, very nice effect to our design. A few of our palms. A few spray roses worked in here, and then using our hypericum berries in towards the front, it gives a really, really cool effect. And then notice that we've got our lid, but unlike having the lid on this one over on this side, we've worked our lid kind of jovially over onto the other side. It gives a very, very pretty effect. So you'll notice that as we've gradually been doing these various pieces, we have contrast. We have things where you've got your design that's kind of a little clustered mound in very, very close. But then we also have designs that give a little bit more flowing effect with things shooting out in different directions as well. So I think you can see, my viewer, we can go in so many directions when it comes to these designs. Well, my viewer, We've covered a lot of ground in a short period of time. You can see how we can take teapots, and let's forget the fact that we make tea in them. They make really, really cool bases 
into which we can do many, many types of floral art. And we're suggesting that you may want to consider taking some of your teapots and have fun with them, enjoy them. These make a wonderful gift for mom on Mother's Day. And if you want to go with uh, various kinds of teapots, different colors, different styles, of course, you can go in so many different directions on them. We've been very busy. Our staff here at Rittner's Floral School has been very busy coming up with all kinds of teapot designs to share with you. We hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, we'd like to wish you a very, very pleasant Mother's Day, and we hope that you've enjoyed this presentation on how to design with teapots and all the different variations you can come up with. Thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.